National Heart Awareness Month. This morning, we're joined with an incredible story. Lori's life changed after her husband, Mark, had a stroke and quickly had to become his caregiver. But with the help of David Harrington from the Center of NeuroSkills here in Bakersfield, she's been able to learn the best ways to lend a helping hand. And joining us this morning is Lori and Mark, as well as we have David in the wings. Lori uh, and Mark, thanks for coming on. Tell us a little bit about your story to our viewers. Well, Mark and I first met in 2009. Um, we've had just such an awesome, adventurous relationship. Um, but unfortunately, a little over a year ago, he had a stroke. And through that stroke, fortunately, I found Center for NeuroSkills, which has really helped us a lot on our journey. Well, before we get over to the Center for NeuroSkills, Lori, let me, let me ask you, how is... How's Mark doing this morning? How are you doing? He's doing great. <laughs> I love that. And it seems like there's been a lot of improvement. So let me get over to you, Dr. David Harrington. Uh, what has that process been for you guys working with Mark? Well, Aaron, thank you so much. As you said, February is American Heart Month. Uh, many don't realize that heart health is brain health. It's connected. And heart disease can lead to brain injury through clots like a stroke or even lack of oxygen. So caring for a loved one with a brain injury is overwhelming, it's stressful, and it's uncertain. And these feelings are often coupled with new family dynamics and financial pressure. So caregivers need support, training, and self-care. We've had the honor of being able to walk with Lori and Mark through this process, um, not only providing the comprehensive rehabilitation services, but enveloping them in their process so that Lori has the skills to carry on the care when we are not around. And uh, her presence has been so impactful in Mark's recovery. How much therapy is done at the home compared to what you're doing when you get to the, the neuro center? Well, we challenge Our residential site is a treatment setting. So from the time that Mark wakes up to the time he goes to the clinic, when he gets home, uh, he's doing work. So everything from challenging him to cook, to dress themselves, to eat, uh, all of these environmental challenges that we apply to that residential treatment setting really has a big impact on neuroplasticity and how we rewire the brain. It's dense treatment. So it's not only treatment at the clinic, it's also treatment at the residential site. Well, looking at the images that we've been seeing here and hearing from Mark just a moment ago, it seems like the Center of NeuroSkills, you guys are doing great work there, especially helping out for caregivers. Lori, now that you have become a caregiver, um, how has it been going for you? It has been a long learning process. Believe me, there is so many things that we've learned on this journey. Um, but through CNS, I've really gotten a lot of skills. They've partnered with us and helped us with what we've needed, given us tips, ideas, things I didn't even know about. And it's just been, it's made the caregiving journey easier. Well, we're going to get this story up on our website. And I want people to know more about you guys and how they can help out. Uh, what's one place they can go, Dr. David Harry, to, to learn more? Well, for all your viewers, if you have a loved one who's experienced a stroke, the American Heart Association's online support network is phenomenal for heart issues, stroke issues. Uh, it really provides a forum for caregivers for that emotional support and to be able to connect with people across the United States. And I would encourage all the viewers to go to supportnetwork.heart.org uh, where you can connect with other people. But of course, there's also neuroskills.com to gather more information on stroke as well. Okay, Lori, Mark, David, thank you guys for coming on and thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank, thank you, you so much. All right, a lot more to come on